It is coming up live this Saturday night from the O2 Arena in London, England. It is the highly anticipated 2024 Money in the Bank event. And let us take a look at the action that will be going down across the pond live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night. Of course, the Money in the Bank playing host to not one but two ladder matches with a briefcase hanging high above the ring. We take a look at the men's side of the field, which so far reveals to us El Idolo, Andrade, Trick Williams from Friday Night SmackDown, The Judgment Day's Dirty Dominic Mysterio, The Badass Braun Breaker, and the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Of course, this Friday night on SmackDown, we will determine the final participant, whether it be one half of the Brawling Brutes in Butch, or one of the other halves of the Brawling Brutes in the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Hanging above the ring, the Money in the Bank contract, guaranteeing the winner of this matchup a future WWE or World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. Who is going to climb the ladder, survive the chaos, and pull down the briefcase? Of course, we have the other side of the field featuring the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. So far determined, Rawls, Cora Jade, as well as the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. What about the man, Becky Lynch, who returned just a few weeks ago at the Great American Bash? Representing Friday Night SmackDown, the genius of the sky, Eo Sky, and a former women's world champion herself, Shayna Baszler. And just 48 hours on SmackDown under the ballsy badass Shotzi or the prodigy Roxanne Perez will secure the final slot, hanging above the ring. The briefcase with a similar opportunity, a future championship match at either Raw's WWE Women's title or SmackDown's Women's World Championship. Six women will enter, only one will leave with a golden opportunity known as Money in the Bank. We take a look at a matchup that has become very personal between the ever-dangerous Dijak and the megastar LA Knight. Dijak was drafted to Monday Night Raw back in April, and unfortunately for him, was met with nothing but losses. An opportunity, of course, to rise in the King of the Ring tournament, where he went one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight in the first round. LA Knight knocking off Dijak and moving on to the quarterfinals where he fought Braun Breaker. But it was later that night that we found LA Knight laid out in the parking garage of the arena. We later determined that Dijak was the one who tried to take LA Knight out for good. Seemingly that loss in the King of the Ring tournament, the straw that broke the camel's back. Dijak forcing himself to find an edge and take a different route, trying to find success on Monday Night Raw. But LA Knight not laying down for anybody. He is back and he is hell-bent on retribution. Something's got to give. They came to blows in the MVP arena on Raw this past week. This Saturday night in the O2, LA Knight's looking for retribution. Dijak's looking to use the Megastar as a stepping stone on Monday Night Raw. Well, of course, we will be in London, England, in the United Kingdom, and two men extremely familiar with those soils are the men that will battle it out for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The current champion, the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, taking on the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. J.D. McDonough has proven to be a worthy champion, slaying the dragon in Ilya Dragunov in the last man standing matchup at Battleground in May and already retaining the gold over Wesley last month on SmackDown. But the big strong boy Tyler Bate has had an ever-growing problem with J.D. McDonough. And now that McDonough houses the cruiserweight gold, he has had that much more of a target on his back. Tyler Bay extremely motivated to not only take down J.D. McDonough, but to win the Cruiserweight Championship in front of his home crowd in the United Kingdom. These two men who had success for many years on these soils return to London, England, and the stakes could not be any higher. You know, one superstar who is extremely familiar with the money in the bank is the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. It was last year at this very event where she captured the briefcase cashed it in two months later to become the WWE Women's Champion. And although there was a hiccup in the road, Rhea Ripley has retraced her steps and regained the gold in recent months. She has continued to rule Monday Night Raw with an iron fist. But over the last two months, an ever-looming threat has targeted Rhea Ripley. That is the number one contender, Bayley. 
somebody who has been to the top of the mountain on Monday Night Raw, on Friday Night SmackDown, even in her days in NXT. But over the last two years of Bailey's career, she has been met with nagging injuries on and off time from the squared circle. And although the opportunities may have arose here and there, Bailey never in a position to seize the day. But ever since her return at All-Star Raw back on Memorial Day, Bailey has been on a tear, undefeated on the red brand, turning away challenges from Natalia, from Tiffany Stratton, from Piper Niven, and more. Bailey is a deserving number one contender, and although Rhea Ripley has proven to be one of the most dominant forces in all of the WWE, she cannot take Bailey lightly this Saturday night. Highly motivated is Bailey to prove she still has what it takes to hang with the best of them. Rhea Ripley out to prove that Liv Morgan was just another chapter in her career. Bailey going to be the next. Who is walking out of London this Saturday night as the WWE Women's Champion? And speaking of Monday Night Raw, there is no love lost between these two men who are set to wage war on Saturday night for the WWE Championship. The Second City Saint, CM Punk, taking on the champion, Kevin Owens. CM Punk and Kevin Owens. Numerous awkward interactions to say the least. The best way we could describe them over the last few months on Monday Night Raw. CM Punk, of course, made it to the finals of the King of the Ring Tournament falling short to the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. CM Punk forced to find another route to try to challenge for the WWE title. The reason he said he is back in the WWE to hold the gold. When the opportunity presented itself, CM Punk struck within an instance, kicking down the door, leaving Kevin Owens high and dry in that tag team matchup a number of weeks ago against the Judgment Day. Getting under the skin of Kevin Owens was all CM Punk had to do. He played his cards right, and now Kevin Owens is out for an ounce of payback and also the retention of his WWE title. CM Punk does not give a damn who the man was standing across the ring from him holding the gold. Kevin Owens surviving Finn Balor this past Monday Night on Raw, and now he looks ahead to the man who knocked him out with a GTS in the closing moments this past Monday, CM Punk. With a lot of history at the Money in the Bank event, will lightning strike once more? Will he become the WWE Champion, or will 2024 continue to be the year of the prize fighter? And we look forward to what will be your main event live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night from the O2 Arena in London, England. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, one-on-one -on -one with the Ring General, Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. For 233 days, Gunther has held on to the World Heavyweight Championship, becoming a big match fighter in the process. The Ring General does not waste his time lacing up the pair of boots on an episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Gunther marches down the ring at a premium live event with only the intentions of retaining his World Heavyweight title. 30 victories and only one defeat since his SmackDown debut in the month of December of 2022. But one man who knows a thing or two about taking down Gunther is the man that opposes him on Saturday night. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. These two superstars, no strangers to each other. In 2020 and 2021, they waged war several times in NXT UK. And it was Ilya Dragunov who took down Gunther to become the NXT United Kingdom Champion all those years ago. Gunther has only seen a few blemishes in general in his WWE career, whether it's on NXT or Friday Night SmackDown. But Ilya Dragunov is one of those men. And when it comes to this Saturday night, Gunther now stands across from a man he is extremely familiar with, hoping to take down, slay the Mad Dragon, and move on to SummerSlam, where he has a chance to right the wrong of last year against the man waiting in the winds, the King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes. As for Ilya Dragunov, he hopes for lightning to strike twice. He hopes to be able to take down a dominating reign of Gunther once more and move on to a King of the Ring semifinal rematch at SummerSlam against Cody Rhodes himself. 
Who is going to be the last man standing in what sure is to be a war of all wars between the Tsar, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, and the Ring General, the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther? We find out live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from the O2 Arena in London, England, this Saturday night as we welcome you to WWE Money in the Bank.